Hey everyone, Greg Cazillo from Cazillo.com. I am lucky enough on the way out the door through another Cazillion to have been hooked up with L. Dean from Sony. How are you doing? You had this really awesome long title. What was it again? All right, so the uh, Senior Product Information Manager for Sony's Digital Imaging Division. Wow, that's quite a title. Did you give yourself that or did somebody else give you that? No, I would love to have given me that title. I'm not that creative. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So. Um, Sony has some really awesome products. Yep. I'm the first person to say that I don't know a lot about Sony because I've never used them. I've never been, always been a Nikon shooter, but yep. you know what? I need to know more about Sony. So why should someone consider going to Sony over some of the other guys? All right, so I think first and foremost, it's good to understand that we have a very long history in digital imaging. We've been doing digital imaging you know, for decades, literally decades. Handycam yeah. has been 30 plus years. We've been making professional broadcast and video cameras and lenses for a very, very long time. Mm -hmm. And we're also the leading uh, manufacturer of sensors in the world. We supply not only obviously all our cameras with sensors, mm -hmm. but many other camera manufacturers as well as other devices, you know, like mobile devices, phones and tablets okay. and that type of okay. thing. So we have a strong background in terms of developing a camera literally from the lens to the sensor, the processor, our TV technology, LCDs, that type of thing. So we manufacture absolutely everything on the cameras that we sell. You had said to me earlier that mirrorless, in your opinion, or in Sony's opinion, is the future of photography. Tell me about that. So you're pretty much technology, as it evolves over time, there's certain technologies that replace things that were there in the past. So for instance, mm -hmm. things that made mirrored cameras uh, important back in 1985, for instance, Minolta came out with the first autofocus system. Now, as you know, our system is based on the Minolta system. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. took all those technologies over. You know, Canon and Nikon followed in 1986 and 87 with with um, uh, autofocus motors, but then yeah. they had mirrors in them, reflected light towards a separate, you know, uh, uh, face detection autofocus system. Mm -hmm. Reflected. I remember that the Elan right. system was. Is that what it was called? I the think Canons? one. Yeah, the Canons I think was the Elan. The Minolta yeah. was actually the Alpha system, which is okay. where. Uh, we got our name from, our uh, interchangeable lens system is called the Alpha system based yep. on that old system, okay. right? Okay. So that's a little bit of history behind it. Yeah. But no, as those technologies change, as you able to replace uh, separate phase detection AF systems with on-sensor phase detection, mm -hmm. and as you be able to replace you know, old uh, optical viewfinders or, elect or, or uh, Penta Prism or Penta Mirror, mirror Viewfinders mm -hmm. with high resolution OLED viewfinders, there's no need for a moving mirror system in a camera anymore, yep. right? So now you can get the same or even faster autofocus, uh, wider autofocus coverage, electronic viewfinder, and put that into a much smaller body without the, you know, the hassle of a moving mirror, mm -hmm. um, which also slows the camera down. So now you can get much faster cameras as well. Yep. Since you're removing the mirror, are you also removing the shutter? No, so a lot of the cameras will either have a focal plane shutter, some cameras have leaf shutters, um, so the shutter is still there in place to basically block light from hitting the sensor. Yep. It opens, exposes the sensor, and then closes again. Now, depending on how fast or slow you set the shutters, how much is open and closed at a particular time. So that's still in place. There are new technologies as well that are coming, for instance, on our new A7S, where it uses an electronic shutter so that you can go into a silent mode. Now, obviously, it has ups and downs for both, Yep. You know, the upside is you can have a completely silent shutter where the camera doesn't make a noise at all. Mm -hmm. yep. That's pretty neat. Yep. That's pretty neat. So um, the big difference between the different shutter types is going to be your sync speed. Correct? Am I, am I correct in that assumption? Yeah, that's correct. And, you know, cameras vary. You get cameras that vary from, you know, 150th sync speed mm -hmm. to 250 sync speed. But then again, you get flash technology that can compensate for that where you're talking about high-speed sync. And as the shutter opens slightly and starts moving up, before it closes down, the strobe can fire it multiple times, syncing with it. So, you know, there's technologies that overcome, um, you know, high sync speeds versus, you know, a single strobe going yeah. into, you know, multi-strobe. Yeah. Are you still working with the same Minolta mount for the uh, hot shoe? So there's, no, so on the hot shoe side, no. We've actually switched to a standard ISO mount. Okay. So your standard, you know, off-camera flash triggers uh, would actually fit on the camera as well. Mm -hmm. Some, you know, third-party uh, uh, flashes work perfectly on this as well. Good. Um, but we also added something more. A again, you know, Sony is really at the forefront of cutting edge technology. And one of the things that we added is a 20-pin adapter inside this hot shoe. So standard hot shoe for still photographers, but video photographers my, or videographers oh, yeah, I see it in there. Right, may actually want to put on an uh, um, uh, external audio. Yep. So when you plug your uh, external microphone or maybe an external uh, uh, XLR audio box into this, mm -hmm. we can actually get full balanced XLR audio 
you know, straight from the hot shoe on the camera, straight into the camera. Without, so that, without having an external recorder. Exactly, no external recorder yeah. or you know, there's third-party manufacturers that do XLR boxes, but they plug into the mini jack, and that kind of defeats the purpose of having XLR, XLR audio in the first place. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've kind of taken the standard shoe that everybody else is using and, and advanced it slightly for videographers, which is obviously important nowadays. Okay. Yep. Do you guys manufacture lenses and glass too? Yes, actually. So our history of lens and glass manufacturing goes way back. Um, we also have a very strong relationship with Zeiss. So there's actually three lens lineups in our uh, in our system. We have. Yep. Um, the Sony manufactured lenses that we've, you know, obviously had factories and manufactured for many, many years. Mm -hmm. Wide variety of both still and video lenses. Uh, we have a long-standing relationship with Carl Zeiss. So both on Carl Zeiss manufacturing and then manufacturing uh, to the Carl Zeiss spec and brand within our factories. And then we took over the uh, uh, Konica and Minolta uh, G-series factories. Okay. Yep. So we continue that heritage of very high-end G-series glass. And then again, advance those. So we put in, you know, our um, expertise in electronics and made you know ultra fast you know supersonic wave motors mm -hmm. in the G series. We've taken those G series glass, the G series manufacturing, the G series coatings, which makes them so special, mm -hmm. added in Sony Electronics to make them faster and more accurate. So we've even improved upon what was a really great lens to start off with. That's awesome. Yep. One of the barriers that someone may have in switching to another camera body is, oh my God, I have. $5,000, $10,000 right. of glass. You said to me earlier that there's a way to adapt those that glass to someone else's, and is that supported? How does that work? Right, so there's, so that's another big benefit of going mirrorless. So the mirror, you know, the mirror takes out a lot of the mechanics that were in the camera before. Mm -hmm. Taking out the mirror also allows you to get closer to the actual sensor and make a much, much smaller camera and camera body. So in our mirrorless system, we have an 18 millimeter flange back distance. So that means from where the flange of the lens attaches to the focal plane of the sensor is 18 millimeters. Now, in the uh, Minolta system um, that we adopted into our Alpha system and in the uh, uh, you know, third or other camera manufacturer systems, let's say Canon and Icon and those type of systems, they have to compensate for the mirror being in place. So the lens, for the geometry, to, for the lens to focus correctly onto the sensor, the lens has to sit, you know, 40 odd, 40 plus millimeters away from the sensor. Yeah. So now that this is such a small flange back distance, we can actually, well, we don't manufacture for third parties, we manufacture for our A-mount lenses. You can put on an adapter that can put any of the uh, A-mount lenses onto your E-mount camera. Okay. There's also a bunch of third party manufacturers out there. There's so many there, and, and you know, you can get into adapters that start at $20 up to $600, and they have different functionalities. Some of them are just spaces, really, to move the lens mm -hmm. to the correct uh, focal distance away from the sensor. Yep. Others actually have electronic pass-through and allows the camera to control third-party lenses. So, for instance, you may have invested in you know, $20,000 of you know, Canon glass over the last 10 years, mm -hmm. and uh, now you want to go to a better camera, smaller, lighter, faster, better resolution, you know, more functionality, video functionality, all this other stuff that you're looking for out of the camera, yep. but you don't, you don't want to switch systems. You don't have to switch your glass. Mm -hmm. You can get a third-party adapter that'll fit onto this camera, use all your existing glass, and carry on shooting with the, you know, basically the focal length that you love. Yep. Yep. One more question. Mm -hmm. You had mentioned, and, I, and you actually grabbed that particular body off of a video rig that's right over there. Correct. In the next five years, what's going to happen with video? Are the, are are we no longer going to see a separate camera there, or a separate department? I see you guys have a whole video department somewhere here that was just your video cameras. Are they really going to finally be one single camera? No, you know, I don't think so. I think you, the, the, there's going to be, obviously, convergent technologies coming in. So stills mm -hmm. were you know, typically all on still cameras. You used to get uh, video cameras. Now that cameras can actually capture videos and stills, um, what you're going to start seeing is specialized cameras, a lot more specialized cameras, but they're going to have very, a lot of similarities. So you're going to see things like on a high-end uh, high 4K uh, video side, we've just announced the uh, FS7, which is a phenomenal interchangeable lens camera with a Super 35 sensor. Mm -hmm. That it has so many other features on it that professional videographers, professional DPs, professional production companies would use that they wouldn't necessarily only use an A7S, for instance. Mm -hmm. But then again, the A7S has a lot of the functionality that the other camera has that would integrate into perhaps a uh, B-roll uh, or, or a backup camera or a second cam mm -hmm. that can you know, shoot the same codec, the same frame rates, 
uh, capture the same audio. You know, it has time code, it's got S-Log2 for color grading, uh, all the picture profiles that you can match, you know, this. So you can integrate this into a professional workflow and have a, you know, a $8,000 camera with a $2,000 camera and seamlessly work together. It doesn't necessarily mean that the one's going to replace the other one. Mm -hmm. And on the other hand, you might need a small camera that perhaps at some stages you're going to need to get a permit to shoot with a bigger camera and you just need to get a smaller camera into shoot without a permit. Or stick this camera under a vehicle that if it does crash, you're only losing $2,000 you know, $2, plus it's small enough to fit. Mm -hmm. But you can get the same quality image that you're going to get out of the bigger camera. It doesn't necessarily mean you're going to get the same functionality out of it. Yep, makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. What's your favorite ice cream flavor? You know, I, I, chalk mint is my favorite. And the reason why is because my wife doesn't like it. <laughs> so if I stick that in the fridge, I know it's all mine. You know it's going to yeah, be there. Exactly. Speaking of the fridge, what's, your, what's always in your refrigerator? Besides the chocolate mint. You know, it seems to be beer lately. I used to drink more beer than I drink now. Okay. Now I've got a couple of bottles in there and I'd never get through them. So maybe I should start drinking more beer. Is Bigfoot real or fake? He's actually real. I've seen him. Very good. How about the Loch Ness Monster? That's fake. Okay. Yeah. Just, somebody made that one up? Yeah, that's, that's seaweed. <laughs> Dogs or cats? Um, pigs. Pigs? Pigs are smarter than cats and dogs. <laughs> no, actually, I, I, I like both. Um, they remind me of old Garfield. Do you have one? Uh, no, I've got two do uh, dogs and cats. You got both? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. No pigs. Very good. <laughs> no pigs. Yeah, do you have any mascots in the office? Actually, we do. Uh, we have a dog and a cat. That's awesome. Yeah, and uh, we, we have a, on our action cam, you know, little uh, POV cameras. Yep. A phenomenal little camera. We uh, came out with the first dog mount for uh, POV cameras. Yep. So we have a, a rod fighter that we call Cujo that we take to trade shows occasionally, and we have it, you know, the... the um, Action cam mounted to its back, and we're showing video in the background of yeah. other dogs. But Cujo That's is awesome. in a, and then we, and then we have a little cat that travels with us that Cujo's always looking at. Cool. Yeah. So I'm guessing I'm guessing he's they're owned by one of the employees. No, they're both stuffed animals. They know. <laughs> <laughs> they're, they're they're fake. <laughs> we'll need to get a picture of that so we can add it to the video and show everybody. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> That'll be great. Any irrational fears? Failure. Ah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Very good. Yeah. Any other you want to ask, Kathy? Favorite season? San Diego. <laughs> San Diego, only one season. It's one season all year long. <laughs> That's it. Thank you very much. Great meeting right. you. Cool. Thanks. Hope to see you again yeah. soon. Thank you. Kazillo.com. Thanks, guys. Keep shooting. See ya.